Hello, my name is Danny and welcome to Drive Green on this nice blowy morning. So have a look around our BMW i3 94 amp hour BEV. Now the 94 amp hour BEV is a battery only model so it's not the range extender but it'll still give you a real world range of 125 miles. Uh, this one in particular has had the loft upgrade, the pro nav as well as 428 on the alloys. Um, 267 plate is looking in remarkably good condition. Right then, a few little things about this vehicle, it's done 20,563 miles on the clock, so a nice low mile cheap EV for that one. Next MOT is 2022 in November and next service date is in December 2022 as well, so nothing to worry about for quite a little while. The i3 is such an iconic, futuristic kind of looking car and this one, as I said, is in remarkable good condition. Right then, let's have a little look up close and personal with this one to see if we can see anything that's noteworthy at all. Coming down to the near driver side front alloy, looking in remarkably good condition, nothing noteworthy there. Feel free to pause the video at any stage if you'd like to go through okay, with a bit more of a fine tooth comb. As you can see, driver side door in remarkable condition. The i3 in white, it does look fantastic. It's got this nice lovely shine to it. It's at least what looking like today. Driver's side far in the rear of alloy. In here you have your Type 2 as well as your CCS charger through there. Alright, and the driver's side rear bumper starting to look really, really nice. Coming around to the rear of the vehicle. Let's get up a bit closer personal with this one so you can really see along the boot sill. A few little beads of rain, the joys of being an outdoor forecourt. Hello! As you can see, nothing noteworthy mentioned on that. Even when I get up really nice and close. Usually you see on the, the rear bumpers on second-hand cars, there's a few little stone chips or anything like that, but I've had a little fine-tooth comb. Even when I get up really little close, that's actually just a little bit of dirt, so nothing to worry about there. Awesome, going around to the far side. Rear alloy. Looking in remarkably good condition as well. So this one's gone through a fresh service and MOT with it, so it's just arrived. So it's all looking spick and span on the inside as well as the out. I'm kind of going through this maybe a little bit quicker just because there's nothing really noteworthy mentioned on here. Right, let's have a little look. Here's this, oh, once again, joys of the outdoor forecourt looking in remarkably good condition. Coming down to the last and final alloy. Once again in remarkably good condition. There's only a few little noteworthy mentions just as we come along here. This one here you can kind of see. It's a little nick that's just in there's the bodywork. But as you step away you can see it's very very minor. Coming around to the front bumper of the vehicle where you find a lot more stone chips. This one in particular feel free to stop and zoom in at any stage. I am finding it increasingly difficult to see absolutely anything whatsoever. Even when you come up really nice and close to the bonnet, you can see it is in fantastic nick. Right. So, just trying to scan over this nice and slowly for you so you can really see for your own eyes on your screens at home just how good condition this vehicle is. Even here, maybe a little bit of stone chips just in there, but as you step away, barely notice it whatsoever. There was one other little tiny little nick. Kind of parallels the other side as well. But there you go, it evens it up a little bit. Nice one, and that is it for the exterior of the vehicle. So, fantastic looking vehicle on the outside. Let's see if the story continues on the inside. You have these really wacky door handles. Boom, loft interior. It's nice, light, and bright. First thing I noticed when I got into an i3 when I first started working in a drive. Spacious it is for actually quite a reasonably compact car. That electric blue around the steering wheel is a fantastic nice touch. Going over to the you've got your iDrive as well as your electric handbrake down through there. Eco as well as comfort mode on your driving. You've also got your pro nav, so the big long screen, and that does make a whole world of difference to the driving experience. It's a nice high driving experience in the i3. Obviously, how you change from your drive, your neutral and your reverse as well. Opening up the rear seats, you have coach door access just around here. 
and boom there is your back seat so you can see actually when it's all opened up it is a really nice spacious room and there's plenty of room for legs in the back but once again hopefully you can see that loft interior looking really really nice and bright really don't feel cocooned on the inside And there's no noteworthy mentions to the backs of these seats or actually any of the interior at all. So a little bit of dirt on the bottom here, but actually you do have that completely cleaned up before the vehicle sent out. So you do it for a full check once again, as well as a full valeting as well. Coming around to the boots, you'd be nice and nice and surprised just how big the boot space is. Boom, there you are. Compact car, but yet a nice, lovely boot space. Okay. Awesome, what you'll find in the boot, what we provide with every vehicle, is you have your 13 amp three pin lead for the home charging, which is provided as standard completely free with the vehicle. Along round through here, what you'll see is you obviously got your parcel shelf. There's a little pulley that's just there. Give that a little pull, these, both these seats will fold down completely flat, and it almost turns the vehicle into a two door estate. So there's actually loads of nice room for couples when they go away on holiday. So there you go, there you have it, the BMW i3 white 94 amp hour battery only model in white, as I just said. Loft interior, pro nav, 429 on the alloys, it's looking fantastic. So if you'd like to find out a bit more information about the i3 in general, have a look on our YouTube page where you can find lots of information from the drive green. She does a pretty nice review on each of the vehicles we have on our forecourt as well as some that are coming out and new. Nice honest reviews and see if this is the IV, I3 will be for you. For this one, if you want to find out any or more information, drop us a call, send us an email, book in a forecourt visit, and we'll be happy to My name's Danny, it's a pleasure to have you here on our forecourt. We look forward to seeing you from you soon. Alright, goodbye!